You're telling me that's the Archduke's son? May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. Guided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing.
And how long has my uncle been funding you and your... I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. Go on now, my lord. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. It means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse the infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> oh. You always were fond of that scene from The Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. <laughs> 